I just sold a painting, so come with me to package it. This was on a 12 by 12 inch canvas, and it was the first one of the new Minecraft paintings that I made. I have an enormous pile of cardboard in this corner of my art room, but thankfully this painting isn't too big, so I shouldn't have to resize anything. I just found this box from when someone in my house bought new pillows recently. I, I honestly don't remember when this happened, but I think it's gonna be the perfect size. Whenever I'm packaging paintings, I always start by adding a layer of tissue paper because that kind of just saves it from getting scratched. Actually, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do a little sandwich. Anyway, now that the tissue paper part is done, we're moving on to bubble wrap. Now, I always like to add a few layers of this, again, because I am extra careful with my paintings. And it gives me peace of mind. <laughs> Now with this box, I already kind of broke it down. So I guess I have to put it back together because I didn't realize I'd be using it again. This is actually going so much faster than it normally would because this box is actually like the perfect size. With my bigger paintings, it's not uncommon for me to spend like a whole hour resizing and packaging a painting. Um, so I'm really happy about this. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm gonna write a little thank you note to the person who bought it and then I'm gonna seal this up and write their address. For the entire time I've been selling on Etsy and doing painting commissions, I always hand write my thank you notes because I just feel like it's a little bit more personal and I like being able to like customize them a little bit. Another thing I like to do is put tissue paper around the painting just to fill in some of that space. Now, if this was an international order, you bet I would be packing it way better, but it's only going three states away, so that's not terrible. I love when I sell paintings in general, but there's just something about having them stay like in the same region I live in. It's like, oh, like people sort of near me know that I exist and that's kind of cool. Now, something I used to do back in the day was put like fragile or please handle with care signs on my painting boxes, but then I saw a post somewhere saying not to do that because if the delivery person is having a bad day, then they're just gonna take it out on your specific package. So I don't do that anymore. I don't know how true that is, but it scared me enough where I'm not gonna mess with it. You know what I just realized? I actually have an Etsy order, so I'm gonna package that for this video too. Somebody bought one of the four leaf clover keychains that I made. So the first thing I'm going to do is print off the shipping label. Now for the sake of privacy for both myself and the person who bought the item, I'm not gonna be able to show a ton of this process, but I'll show you what I can. So I have the little bubble mailer, this, which I'm gonna write my thank you note on, the box for the item. I have my shipping label and my packing slip, which I always put inside the box or the package just in case it gets lost and they have to open it up to see where it's supposed to go. And then I have the item. The first thing I always do is put the shipping label on the bubble mailer. You can't see it, but it's on there, so trust me. Okay, I think I can show this next part. I'm using a shoe box as a desk here. I'm gonna put my item in here. Sometimes what I like to do for items that are smaller is add some bow wrap on top of them because the lid to the boxes doesn't have any of this stuff on it. So I just wanna make sure it's extra safe on its journey. Then I will take ribbon, which here I just kind of chose a random one, which we got red. I need to sharpen these scissors so bad, they're so dull. And then I tie it in a bow because I think it makes it look pretty. And it keeps the lid from falling off, but you know. Okay, can't show this next part, but then I take the packing slip and fold it up and put it in here along with the box. And then I'm gonna write my thank you note. Thank you note has been written. Then I can take this off and close up my package. I am an anxiety girly, so I'm gonna add extra tape here, even though I know I don't need it. 
Okay, well, now I have my painting and my Etsy order. So let's go to the post office. So I just got in the car with all my stuff for the post office and there's a wasp in my garage and I barely closed the door in time. I'm being so brave right now. I definitely forgot to film the outro to that video yesterday, but basically all I did was take everything to the post office. I dropped off the Etsy order since the shipping was already prepaid and then I got shipping for the box for the painting and then just had the person Venmo me the difference for the shipping, so very simple. But yeah, that is how I package paintings and Etsy orders. So if you're ever curious, now you know. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you in my next one.